Hey everybody, just an update on the tag here. Went to um, went to England, so we're kind of tapped, so it's slowing me down even more, but that's okay, it was worth it. But doing a motor mount on my car, as you can see, the old motor mount definitely, it was a solid motor mount, polyurethane, but it's got every bit of its life that I'm going to get out of it. I bought a regular stock cheap one for now. I mean, unfortunately, you know, it's not going to be as great as this one, but now I ain't going to have to worry about, you know, doing something and wind up cracking my block, which would really piss me off. But, um, amongst going things, you know, I was looking for other mounts and things to see if anything had to be fixed. And I found out that, um, there's such a thing as too much horsepower without proper preparation as you can see here my car is coming apart at the seams it's not horsepower by itself but the horsepower has a lot to do with it you know you're going into corners and you're torquing the car up and it got cracked just starting to form over here it's not really separated yet but so I'm gonna have to go and I'm just gonna get a reinforcement done on both the strut towers, I mean that, a couple dollars, but it's not going to be break the bank. And then, um, I'm running steelies on it, 14 inch steelies, because another part of the reason why the car is coming apart is, as you can see, these are some big freaking tires that I was running on this car. I mean, these are just monsters. I love them, though. I mean, they, it holds the road like it's running on rails. But I had a blowout. So I went and I bought some new um, 195 60s for it. Some really nice Kellys. You know, and we mounted the first one. And then when we took this wheel off, we found out I had a bent rim. We tapped it with the rubber mallet. And then I had a broken rim. They didn't even hit it. They just tapped it. You know, it's so kind of scary knowing what I know about how fast I had been just two days prior. Um, I'm not going to repeat that on here. I don't know if there's a statute of limitations or something, but, you know, yeah. Law enforcement doesn't need to know how fast I was going. <laughs> it's a fast car. But... I think what I might do is I might sell my three, my three good rims with my um, new set of um, 195.60s. I mean, they're Kelly Golds. They're not exactly junky tires. They're not top rate, but they're not junk either. They're decent tires. And then I might um, stick with my 14-inch Steelys here and repaint them because they look kind of aggressive on the car, actually. You know, with the car, I want to have that old school JDM look going on, and the steels kind of match that old school look. So, I think I'm going to stick with them. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it, but if I do, I'm going to run me some, um, probably some 185 55s, you know, maybe some 195 50s. I don't know. Something like that, though. Probably the 185 55s. They'll look really cool on it. They'll look real, they'll. They'll sport the style of the car that I'm looking for, you know, because I wanted to put the big wing on the back of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a Fast and Furious fan, and, you know, that Paul Walker's first car, that big aluminum wing was just cool. <laughs> but, no, I'm not going to do that. Come on. I'll be back in a few. Let me put the mount on and take the car for a test run. 